what is good everybody hope you're doing well it is a tuesday for us and we are working hard here at the the warehouse that is my primary focus right now since we are at the end of the campaign or it's closed we want to thank each and every one of you guys for a successful a second multi-million dollar campaign for isom number two and i wanted to bring something to your attention because it was brought to ours and Dan, big shout out to Dan. He had asked this question, has the Riververse cracked 100K books sold since launch last year? And I didn't even think, we weren't even thinking about that. So we went back on the analytics and yeah, it is true that we have sold between two books over 100,000 uh, copies. This is the launch. This is what happened after launch. So you had that big gap between ISOM 1 and ISOM 2 as we got moved into our new warehouse and was catching up to the demand. So all the sales up through that, up until now, we have sold over 100,000 copies. So ISOM 1, ISOM 2, over 100,000 copies between the two of them uh, during that window of that campaign. We also sold more ISOM 1s as well. You had all that catch up pack. We had that a uh, brief sale that we did. So there was a lot of books that were being sold of ISOM 1 during the ISOM 2 a campaign and i'm sure the same thing will happen with ice on three that you'll have more sales there for the previous books so up until now as of the time of me re recording this video we are a hundred thousand k plus in counting and that's a that's a massive deal for us so for a company that really set out to to uh be part of uh, the solution to the issues that i thought that really plagued this industry getting things back to the to the essence of what i felt comic books were about and to get the response that we've got has been incredible to have uh, successful campaigns like we've had, be able to work with people that I've admired over the years and people's work that I have read, like the Chuck, like great Chuck Dixon and uh, the Saska sisters and all these veterans that we have doing the covers, the, the Ethan's and, and Shane Davis's. Um, Kanan White, shout out to him for what he did with the the uh, short box it's just i've been able to work with a lot of people and that number is growing we've had some uh certainly a lot of growth there <laughs> with uh some unannounced projects that are being worked on right now that has some legends that are part of those so i just wanted to take some time out today just thank each and every one of you for over a 100k book so we're just getting started my number one my, my primary focus right now is getting these books out we have a little over a five thousand that we need to get out to the uh, fulfill, let's say that for ISOM 2. So let's get those out, that's my primary focus. And then once we're done with that, we'll be doing two things. That's getting back to the creative stuff with like, uh, not just writing and everything else, but you know, doing the streams and I wanna do spoiler talk. I wanna do all of that and, and, and have that as those discussions. But let's get these orders or focus on getting these orders out first and then we'll get there. And I mean, you know, we're about to enter into the fall. That means, yes, Alpha Core by Chuck Dixon and Joe Bennett. So be on the lookout for that. That's my focus. That's my timeline right now. I'll keep you guys posted. Again, thank you all for 100K plus books sold, man. That's crazy. If you like this video and want to get into a new comic book universe, visit Ripperverse.com. Our first campaign for ISOM 1 hit $3.7 million, and the pre-order campaign for ISOM 2 is currently live. So go check it out and watch the official launch trailer, which is the first animation of Ripperverse Studios.